Hey, what's up? It's Andy with My Tech Methods, and this is one of my favorite devices. This is the second generation Chromecast. And for those of you wondering how to set up your Chromecast, look no further. This is my quick review and setup tutorial for the new 2015 Chromecast. Now, what is a Chromecast? Basically, it's a dongle that connects to your HDTV and enables you to use your smartphone, tablet, or computer to wirelessly stream video or audio to your HDTV. So if you want to make your TV smart, then this $35 2015 Chromecast is one of the best and cheapest ways to do it. The box comes with everything you need, the Chromecast, a USB cable, and a power adapter, along with simple instructions that I will walk you through in this video. First, make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection, an HDTV with an available HDMI port, and a smartphone, tablet, or computer. Chromecast works with Android devices, iPhone and iPad, Windows, Mac, and Chromebooks. Next, connect the small end of the USB cable into the Chromecast, then connect your Chromecast to your TV's HDMI port using the HDMI connector. If your TV has a USB port, you can plug the USB cable into it to power your Chromecast, and if your TV does not have a USB port, you'll have to connect the USB cable to the power adapter and plug the power adapter into an outlet. Once you see the Chromecast light up, that means it has power and the next step is to turn on your TV if it's not already on and change the source or input to the HDMI port where your Chromecast is connected. Now, once you see your Chromecast screen on your TV, you can go to your phone, tablet, or computer and visit chromecast.com setup. Before doing this, however, make sure your phone, tablet, or computer is connected to your Wi-Fi network. If you're on your phone or tablet like I am, it'll ask you to install the free Chromecast app. Once that's installed, open it up and go to Devices and follow the prompts to set up a new Chromecast. Verify that your TV screen is displaying the same code, select your region, and give your Chromecast a name. The next part is where you will select your Wi-Fi network and enter your Wi-Fi password in order for the Chromecast to connect to your Wi-Fi successfully. It may take a minute or two to finish the setup, and once it's finished, it'll most likely start the update process. During the update, the Chromecast will show a short instructional video on your TV, so go ahead and watch that to get a little more familiar with it. The update may take a few minutes, so just be patient. Now, when it's finished, you should see your TV displaying ready to cast. And take a good look at that casting icon, because whenever you see that icon in any of your apps, that means it's able to stream to your your Chromecast. Another thing to remember is that your device that you're streaming from must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network that the Chromecast is connected to in order for it to work. So let's take a quick look at the new Chromecast app, which now offers more features. From this app, you can see which movies, TV shows, and music you can stream from your installed apps. You can search for entertainment titles in the app as well, and it will give you recommended apps that are compatible with Chromecast. You can also manage your Chromecast device from the app. Now let me show you how to stream from some of the more popular apps that you probably have on your phone. Of course, it works with YouTube. When you open it, you should see the casting icon at the top, and if you tap it and select your Chromecast from the pop-up menu, it should connect to your TV. Now you can tap on a YouTube video from your phone and it will play on your TV. You can create cues of videos to have them automatically play after each other, and yes, it will keep playing if you lock your device or go to another app. You can also use apps like Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, and Pandora, just to name a few. To see a full list of compatible Chromecast apps, I will have a link in the description below, so check that out. And an often overlooked feature of the Chromecast that I absolutely love is the screensaver feature that has some of the most amazing photos on it. Now, sometimes I'll just have the Chromecast on just so I can look at those pictures on my TV. So there you go. You now have a smart TV thanks to your new 2015 Chromecast second generation. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them for you. And please give this video a thumbs up if it helps you out and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.